Good day, and welcome to Ask Dr. Stacy. I'm Dr. Stacy Cooper, health and wellness expert at drstacycooper.com, founder of Lifestyle of the Balanced Living Academy, which is coming up soon, and creator of the Get Healthy Quick Start Virtual Boot Camp. And we're going to be having a live webinar coming up very shortly in the next couple of days for the virtual boot camp. And fuels where I show you how to swap out the bad fuels for great fuels so that your engine can run more effectively and efficiently. You can reduce pain and inflammation in your body through foods that you eat. And phlegm book is doable for my family of six. We have four teenagers at home and they love the recipes and they can make them all as well. And what's life without dessert? So you will definitely find delicious desserts that are wheat-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, and gluten-free that even the kids can make, and they love them as well. Chocolate pudding, chocolate cake is also available in the dessert section of the cookbook. And it's available on my website, so you can just go to drstacycooper.com, and that's where you'll find all of the information. So thank you for joining me today on ASI. This is our live weekday broadcast that I post at 12.15 Eastern, 9.15 a.m. Pacific. So you can always feel free to join me here. This is a live Q&A where you can let us know where you're from. Put your comments and questions right here in the chat. They'll pop up on my screen. And anything that you want to know about how to fuel your body better or better be function naturally. That's what love food because you can eat well 100% of the time. But if other areas of your life are stressed, then your body still won't function optimally. So it's about nourishing all aspects of your life. And today, on Ask Dr. Stacy, we're going to nourishing you. And nourishing you is really important. When we talk about self care, it is not selfish because often people take time for themselves. Um, they're thinking that it is selfish. We've been taught that in our society that you should always do for others. And oftentimes we are nowhere near the priority list. We aren't even on the list. We're not even at the bottom. And this is when you run into fatigue, frustration, overwhelm, and living a life that you really don't love. And so when we care, this actually then provides you with the opportunity to recharge your batteries, nourish your soul, and your spirit, which will then bring much more joy into your life and then will enable you to give others around you. Then all areas of your life will be fulfilled in every aspect. And so this is why self-care is so important because if you don't look after you, no one else is going to do it for you. And so it is truly up to you and the choices that you make. And it is a choice. Oftentimes we're not love because we just pack way too much onto our calendars and into our social agenda and into our commitments and all that sort of thing that you do not get taken care of. So it's really important to you on your priority list. And I show you the plan, how to plan for all of this so that you can actually ink in your self-care onto your calendar. If you put it in pencil, it can just get erased and be replaced. Self-care is inked in into your daily or weekly schedule. And I show you that in the plan in my clean living formula. Of nourishing yourself that you can begin to implement to help recharge your batteries and recharge your soul. So one thing is a morning routine. Do you have a mindful morning routine or not? So when you wake up first, the first thing, feet hit the floor and you're off running, checking your phone, checking your emails, logging into Facebook, seeing what happened overnight. If that's the case, then you are already on the clock. You are already at work before you have even opened your eyes, then enabled everyone else to take over your time. And you have given up control of your day to everyone else working on that work email or getting that reply sent in first thing. Phones are essential to help quiet the mind, 
prepare the body for the day, and that will completely change the progress of your day. So some suggestions that I would make is as you wake up, think about your pets or pets that friends may have. What is the first thing that they do when they wake up? It's certainly not going to check their nails. The first thing that you notice you do, whether pets or cat or the first thing they do when they wake up is they stretch. They stretch their body. They gently wake up their muscles. They warm up the muscles, the blood flowing, the structural body in preparation for the activities of the day. So what I encourage you to do is as you first thing in the morning, take some time and remain in bed. Slowly wake up and allow your systems to come on board. Some gentle swing in. You can do that right under the covers and into your body muscles. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, start moving your limbs, bending your joints and allowing muscles to supple because when you sleep at night and you know if you have any back issues or any structural issues you often find that mornings are the worst the reason for this is because over the course of the night you're not moving muscles tighten and tighten and tighten over the course of the night and in the morning they're very very Definitely to stretch and wake, mobilize the body before lower, then your day will go much better. Because if you just jump right out of bed and, and stand straight up, gravity completely shifts your structure. So gravity is now down and compressing everything in your spine, and the muscles are already tight to begin with. Whereas if you gently stretch before you get out of bed, now that help reduce some of the question and allowing you to be more mobile first thing in the morning. So as you're doing your stretches in bed, your eyes don't have to be open. Rest quietly. Meditate, whether it be for a few minutes or 20 minutes or half an hour. Take some time to quiet the mind. This is not when you're thinking of the to-do list and the grocery list and who's to go where next, up when, and all of that sort of thing. That is not what's happening at this part of the day. This is where you can take some time for gratitude and thankfulness. When you practice gratitude each and every day, this truly changes your outlook and your perspective. Because when you come from a place of gratefulness, there's a lot much, there is much more positive energy, which will then provide your body and your being with a much more positive outlook. And when you begin to practice these types of things over the course of days and weeks, you will notice a change within your physical being and your mental and emotional being. And so will those around you, whether it be your coworkers, your family, your friends, Everything can change, and it's just completely up to you. The choice is what you choose to start your day, and the words that you choose to use, and the things that you choose to fill your mind and fill your body. So everything is within your control, and you can change your outcomes because your body adapts to the environment that you provide for it. And if you start to change the environment in a positive way, then your body will respond in a positive way. The well, if you start to provide more negative foods or negative atmosphere or negative situations, your body will respond to that as well or as effectively or as efficiently, and you will lose your vitality. So it is an even keel that needs to be maintained. You can actually shift the direction that you want things to. A full morning routine is a great way to implement this. So I do recommend that you do start to take some of these steps. So it's not only at that bed, but in your morning. Do you actually eat breakfast? Do you break the fast? Do you supply your body with great foods? During the morning, within the first hour, you should be giving lots of water, full ounce, 10 ounces, of water, and you'd be nourishing your body with healthy food. And you can eliminate foods and um, those that drain your energy by 
simply implementing some of the steps. And also, you can receive my two-part series, Eliminating Five Hidden Energy Drain. That's located right on my website. So you can go to drstacycooper.com and get that for free. There'll be some things, just tiny steps you can start to take that are not overwhelming to get your body functioning better. Now, in regards to the free webinar that I have coming up, this is a, where I will show you how to eliminate your system. So there is two pre-training videos already available for you. URL right here for you. Just go to gethealthyquickstart.com. And there where you can enter your name and email address. And right there, it'll immediately open two videos. And there's a PDF on the side that, men, that you can follow along and fill in the blanks as you're watching the videos. And I need to show you simple steps that you're to out the bad fuels so that your body can start to function better. These are some simple steps. And then in the free webinar that's coming up, when you register at .com, then you will then be able to have access to the free webinar. This is where I go in depth in regards to how cravings have nothing to do with how much will you have. You cannot overrule the mechanism that is associated with cravings. But I will show you what, how it functions and how you can stop it simply by removing this from your diet. So be sure to connect and go to gethealthyquickstart.com and then you will get all the information that you need to kick your cravings to the curb for good. So as always, I welcome you to send me any information that you would like to hear about. Just email me directly. You can do that Dr. Stacy at drstacycooper.com or you can connect with me. Just go to drstacycooper.com and everything is there for you. Connect with the Get Healthy Quick Start dot com there you'll be access to is coming up and we'll get to the curb too so i look forward to chatting with you next time and here's to your enhanced vitality have a fantastic day